Hello. Welcome on back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. Today we are having a full glam moment. We're throwing it back to the really bright under eye, the clean neutral eye makeup, and of course a glossy nude lip. And I'm doing this all in partnership with Belief. So without further ado, if you wanna learn how I created this look right here, then keep on watching. So to begin, I'm using the Belief Aqua Bomb Hydrating Toner to begin prepping our beautiful model skin with. In terms of the skincare, I usually like to start with products that, you know, they have the thinner consistencies and then work my way on up. So I'll start with toners and then move on to serums or creams. This toner right here is perfect to start with because it is water-based and it's a super hydrating, lightweight formula that kind of leaves behind this refreshing, satin glow finish to the skin and it preps it perfectly for the following products. Next up, I'm using the Belief True Cream Aqua Balm to moisturize her skin with. This stuff right here is fantastic. It has a gel-like consistency, and for those of you who have been with me since the beginning of my channel, you know I love a gel-like formula with my moisturizers. It's my absolute favorite, so I highly recommend you try it out if you haven't already. In fact, the toner we had just used uh, was the mini size that comes in their Glow on the Go Holiday Travel Kit. I'll show you really quick here what that looks like. So this kit includes the toner we used, it includes the moisturizer that we're using right now, and it includes the eye cream we're about to use here in just a second. And of course, some of their other best sellers, all for a really great value. Now here's the eye cream I was just speaking of. It's the Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm. This, just like the other two products, are like a drink of water for the skin. They get the skin super hydrated and plump, and I find that they all work so well with each other. You know what I mean? But that's also why I like that Belief has a lot of kits and mini products that allow us to try out the formula without the huge commitment. So you have the value there. And then of course, there's the Sephora VIB sale that's currently going on. VIB Rouge has access starting, I believe, October 28th. So it's currently going on with 20% off. VIB has access starting November 1st with 15% off, and Beauty Insiders have access starting November 3rd with 10% off. And the event ends on November 7th for all tiers. So anyway, I'll list the links down below with all the information if you wanna check it out. But as of now, the skin is well prepped and moisturized. So I'm gonna move on to using the Danessa Myricks Matte Color Fix in the shade Carrot Top. This is gonna to add in the warmth and saturation to the areas of the face that we want to color correct before using other complexion products on top of it. So here I'm using this pigment around the eyes and mouth. And what this will do, it, it is all, I can't talk, <laughs> sorry guys. It will help prevent any grayish tones from coming through the makeup. I'll explain that a little more here in just a moment, but as of now, I'm just applying this on, blending, applying, and blending. For foundation, I'm using the House Labs Triclone Skin Tech Foundation in the shade 340 Medium Cool, and I'm applying this on with a sponge. And yes, <laughs> I'm gonna eventually start mixing it up and using different foundations, but right now, I've really been enjoying using this House Labs foundation. It just kind of looks so beautiful on the skin. I love how it blends. And you know what? I love how it continues to look on the skin throughout the day. You know what I mean by that? Like when I set it with powder, it lasts and it continues to look put together as the day goes on. So <laughs> there's that. Also, on another note, depending on the product you're color correcting with, you may want to set it with a translucent powder before using other liquid or creams on top of it. And, and that's so that it doesn't move around and mix into the foundation. But in this case, I find that the um, those Danessa Myricks Color Fix products 
have a really nice dry down and are pretty good at staying put. So I didn't use a powder on top of it to set it with. Now for contour, I'm using this Makeup Forever HG Skin All-in-One Face Palette to contour the perimeter of her face with. I'm using a couple of the deeper shades here in this palette to add back in some warmth to the skin. Apply this on with a brush and then I'll head back to my sponge here in just a second to further blend this out. Okay, so we're just about done with this contour blend. And as you can see, it's not too crazy, right? Like there's no harsh lines. Everything is still pretty soft and we love that. So moving right along, I'm mixing two concealers today. One is the Born This Way Concealer in the shade Pearl. And the other is the One Size Turn Up The Base Concealer. And this is gonna be the little mixture I create to conceal the eyes. I love the formula and the coverage of the Born This Way concealer, but I love the actual tones I get from the one size concealer. And the undertones are very, very important when it comes to concealer, you guys. So you definitely want to make sure you get that right. But to set this into place here, I'm using the House Labs setting powder in the shade Neutral Peach and pressing this powder into the skin right around the eyes to set that concealer into place. By the way, if you need help learning how to find your undertones, please let me know and, and I can create a separate video on that one of these days because it really plays such a big part in the outcome of your makeup. But yeah, okay. <laughs> so as you see here, we've gotten a really pretty result with those concealers and powders. And I'll show you how we're gonna brighten up this under eye even more here in just a minute. But in the meantime, I'm following those same steps on this eye as I had done on the other. Apply the concealer, blend, and then finish with powder. Alrighty, so now I'm taking the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Powder in the shade 3 and using this to lightly set the skin around the perimeter of the face, pressing this product in little by little to help lock the foundation into place, but also help bring down a little bit of that shine. So heading back to the under eyes, I'm using this Easy Bake Powder from Huda Beauty in the shade Blondie and using this to bake with today. We're gonna apply a generous amount of this and leave it here to do its thing while we move on to the eye makeup. And once we wipe it off later, it'll leave behind uh, you know, a beautiful highlight and brightness to the areas we had applied it. Of course, like anything I show you in these tutorials, this is optional, but... Our model today loves a bright under eye. She loves a full coverage glam. And although she's naturally gorgeous without all this product, she still wants to, you know, have that full mommy makeover. She's a busy mom, always on the run. And you know what? We're treating her like the queen she is today and showing her some love. So if she wants it, she gets it. <laughs> full glam it is. Now, once I have the powders placed, I'm then using this Lawless Shape Up Brow Pencil to lightly fill in her brows with. But more than anything, just to give it a little bit of shape because I, I don't necessarily want to darken them. If you noticed earlier, I brought the concealer and powder we used for the under eyes up onto the brow hairs to help actually kind of lighten them, which I, I feel kind of gives them a softer approach and looks nice with her hair color. You'll see what I'm talking about at the end when you see the before and after. It's a subtle difference, but I think it looks really nice. To begin on the eyes, I'm using the Makeup by Mario Master of Mattes eyeshadow palette and using the shades in the bottom two rows to start shaping her eyes, 
focusing most of the product in the outer corner and blending forward into the crease. Honestly, there wasn't one exact shade I used in this palette. It was more like a mixture of a few different shades to get this simple but effective result. So the shades used are, are gonna be different depending on the skin tone. And then here I'm taking a deeper shade of a brown to run through her crease. I love doing this because it adds a level of dimension to the overall eye look and she really has the best eye shape to do this with. But even on hooded eyes, as I've shown in past tutorials, it can be done. So as you see, I've run just a little bit of those shadows to the lower lash line, and now I'm using the lighter shades in the top row of the same palette to brighten up the inner corner. A lot of people do this step with a concealer, but you know, for me, it's just, it's too much work to do it with a concealer. And I don't like it looking too sharp and precise. I like the softer appearance I get with using a bright eyeshadow or even a foundation powder. Next up, I'm using this Inglot Black Gel Eyeliner to create a subtle winged liner. I was debating using a liquid pen eyeliner or a pencil or what, but I decided to play it safe and use the gel for some reason. I don't know, I think it's just easier for me. Like, I feel like I have more control from a gel formula and a brush, I don't know. <laughs> Do you guys use a liquid, a pen, a pencil? Oh, and we're using the Kiss Falscara lashes today. Okay, so here's the deal with this. You first apply on their bonding formula, which is similar to a lash glue, and you brush that through the base of the lashes before you begin applying on the individual lashes. Now, this is my first time ever doing this on someone else. I tried this out on myself a few weeks ago, and I did like how it turned out, but I was thinking, like, just how easy is this to do on a client? So <laughs> here we are. I, I will say it's easier than I thought it would be. I only applied on a few of these lash clusters and then finished off with you know the seal and some mascara. The mascara I'm using today is from Too Faced and I'm lightly running this through her natural lashes and the false lashes before we head back to the complexion to wipe off that baking powder. Later on, off camera, we did apply mascara to the bottom lashes. And you know what else I did off camera is I applied on a nude eyeliner to the waterline. The one I use is from House Labs. I'll link it down below, but I think it adds, um, you know, a brightness to the eyes that I think looks real clean and polished. Now for blush, I'm using this Buxom blush in the shade Mykonos and dusting this onto the apples of her cheeks. I think this coral peachy undertone is perfect for her and it complements her skin tone so well. Starting on the lips, I'm using this Oma Beauty lip liner in the shade Simone to trace the borders of her lips with. It was at this point that I'm having to put a little pep in my step because the sun was starting to go down behind us and we were losing light. But you know what? Now looking through the footage, I think everything kind of happens for a reason because somehow the makeup started looking better in the outro shots than it did with more sunlight. So I, I don't know what's going on, but <laughs> anyway, for lipstick, as you saw there, I'm using the Makeup by Mario lip palette to create a custom shade of a bright pinky coral to place just in the center of the lips before then heading over to the Charlotte Tilbury lip gloss in the shade Blushed Gold to place right on top for that high shine finish. This is a really pretty gloss. It has some reflect in there and the prettiest hue of a dusty rose. And lastly, of course, I'm using the One Size Until Dawn Setting Spray to set and lock that makeup into place, which makes this the final step in how we created this full glam look on our naturally beautiful mom. I hope you all enjoyed today's tutorial. If you did, be sure to give this video a big old thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. You can also check out more of my work on my Instagram at Painted by Spencer. 
And until next time, I'll see you soon.